can I, can I, go ahead. Can I, go ahead. Can what can you I, got? Can I, do you all want to know who's coming out here this morning? Do you want to know? Yeah. She is the, <laughs> the trailblazing principal dancer for the American Ballet Theater, an artist, an author, a great person. Please welcome Misty Copeland. <laughs> Because our producers are always yelling at us, you know, we're spending too much time. Like we're huggers, we gotta get up and we gotta welcome people here properly, especially someone like Misty Copeland. Do you know she's a newlywed? She got married. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh. And it's a big night. Tonight is big night, right? Yeah. So we're getting you up early to do this, but yeah. you're ready. But yeah, no, it's it's super exciting. Mm -hmm. American Ballet Theater's uh, fall season opens tonight at the Coke um, at Lincoln Center, and it's a two week season. It's super quick, yeah. uh, but it's exciting to be performing in New York City. We only have two seasons mm -hmm. here, so we are a touring company. So it's nice to be here and home and. Just watching. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what you'll be doing tonight? Yeah, uh, so there's Twyla Tharp, who has such a huge repertoire and especially a uh, long history with American Ballet Theater. So Brahms Hayden. Um, mm -hmm. I'm doing some older pieces uh, with Frederick Ashton's choreography. So one is called Monotones, um, the other symphonic variations. Mm -hmm. And then there's a new piece that's be been created by a female choreographer, which is so rare to see at a level, uh, you know, with American Ballet mm -hmm. Theater. So uh, Jessica. Lang's new piece, Her Notes. Oh, wow. Fantastic. You have been so... I know. <laughs> busy and wonderful. We, we love the book that you put out and, and the Barbie doll and everything and the way you just speak to women about being proud of who they are and what they look like. I saw what you posted on Instagram yeah. recently and you're all about just accept and embrace who yeah. you are, right? It's it's so difficult this day and age and, and I think that's why I'm a part of so many positive mm -hmm. things like Peg Plus Cat but when you're on social media, you know, the youth are seeing um, such, you know, horrible images of uh, you know what they think they should have to look like yeah. and so it was really important for me you know with this book uh, mm -hmm. this Greg Delman Misty Copeland book that came out that's photographs of my body and you know all that it takes to become a ballerina and the art you know that and what goes into making this body and so I celebrate that I've you never um, you know hid from what I look like so you know when the book when the editors you know they edited out some wrinkling in my leotard and I got a lot of flack that you know I cut away at my waist and you know did all of mm. these things to alter my body and I just I couldn't sit back and you, you know, did I it had so, to no. explain to them that, you did it yeah. so eloquently though Thank you me. did you really did you just said you you showed the difference and said look you know just taking those the wrinkles mm -hmm. out of the, of the clothing like yeah. that so, so I'm curious do you have any do you get, first of all do you get nervous before you perform uh, sometimes in, in, yeah. in, or do you have like a pre-performance routine like uh, something that you know I I like to keep things as casual as like I possibly can like I try to approach a performance day like I would any other day I don't like to like psych myself up and have to like fall into patterns of ritual um, I put on like some Drake and I'm like okay you mentioned Peg Plus Cat, yeah. which is a, really an amazing project. We just want to show a little clip to folks at home. And, oh, and this is a little bit of, not only does she perform and she will tonight, but look at this. Ridiculous. Okay, I get it. We've been sorting socks and boards and saying this belongs with that because of how it looks. But you don't sort dancers that way. Peg's right. Dancing isn't about how you look, Cat. It's how you make people feel. And your dancing makes me feel totally awesome. I was a little shocked when I got into the studio and realized I had to sing. I was like, not this again. Oh. When I did On the Town, it was terrifying, the Broadway show. I, I was know. there. I and love I was that. like, I'm not a singer. No. Oh my gosh. And so I, I, I got to sing in, in this episode. Aren't you heading to his town, Houston? Aren't you doing I some am, Cinderella? I am. You know, 
it's amazing to be a principal dancer and I'm still kind of venturing into new um, roles and so I've never performed the part of Cinderella. Oh, so yeah. um, this is urban, uh, open world dance, sorry. Yeah. And it's gonna be at the Hobby Center in Houston. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. so incredible, like Houston is always so warm and welcoming yeah. to me and um, and it's you know giving back to disadvantaged youth and I'm gonna be surrounded by the youth of Houston on the stage with another American Ballet Theater dancer who's oh, also awesome. African American Calvin Wonderful. Royale, and it's November 10th and 11th, oh. and I can't wait to go back to Houston. You're always giving right. back. Yeah. H-Town, get ready. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. I just, I just thought we should stand and do the, oh. the proper, the proper, you know, all of us to stand and do the proper. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to curtsy? Yeah, a curtsy, okay. okay. Uh, Mesty, so. oh, oh, sorry, oh. But oh, I didn't know we would do all that. Well, the men will just, the men can just. Oh, yes, okay, 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 good. Okay. And then we. <laughs> and we will curtsy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Misty's episode of Peg Plus Cat premieres on PBS Kids today. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Love you.